Today, we visit Tel Ashkelon, a one-of-a-kind archaeological site located on the shores of southern Israel. Wow! Set on a mound by the Mediterranean Sea, this ancient Philistine city is home to the oldest arched gate in the world. It is almost 4,000 years old. It's absolutely unbelievable. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is the last Philistine city we will visit this season. So far, we've traveled and seen the Valley of Elah, where David slew Goliath. We did a voice test to see if the Israelites could hear Goliath across the valley. Then, we went to Goliath's hometown, Gath, where four other giants had lived, and we saw there the recently excavated monumental structures. That's incredible. I have never seen a fortification wall this big with these giant boulders from that time. But today, we head west to the ancient Philistine city of Ashkelon. It's just exciting. And you find these shards everywhere, and they're ancient. Archaeologists had recently found here the world's only Philistine cemetery, which gave them the opportunity to collect Philistine bone samples and run a DNA test that had never been done before. And as a result, they were able to find the answers to the questions that bothered historians for decades. Who were the Philistines of the Bible? And where did they come from? So join us today as we seek to find the answers to these questions as we go to the ancient city of Ashkelon. Wow, 4,000 years of history. This is so cool. This is one of the coolest parks that Israel has. It's so exciting. I can't believe we've never been here before. Tel Ashkelon has a lot of history. It was established first by the Canaanites about 4,000 years ago. But shortly after, it was overtaken by the Egyptians, by the Philistines, the Assyrians, then Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, Romans, Byzantines, the Arabs, the Crusaders, and eventually destroyed by the Mamluks in the 13th century and was never rebuilt again. Today, Tel Ashkelon is a national park where families can come to picnic, pitch a tent, stay overnight, take a swim at the beach, and explore the incredible ongoing excavations. That is a 5th century church! That is so cool! Look how huge it was! That's so cool! Wow! The Crusader city boasted five churches. This one, called Santa Maria Verdes, was built in the Byzantine period at the 5th century CE. Wow, that is very, very beautiful. But this site is so huge and there are so many excavated artifacts that it would take us hours to see everything, if not days. So, Rhoda and I decided to stay focused on only two primary goals. Number one, see the oldest arched gate in the world. And number two, learn about the origins of the Philistines. So, who were the Philistines? It's a great question, and here's what we know so far. The Bible says the Philistines are the people of Kaftor, who lived here. They had five cities, they had five lords, Ashkelon, Gath, Ekron, Gaza, Ashdod. Good job. <laughs> you got it. The Bible also says that they were people of Kaftor, and Kaftor is believed to be Crete or Cyprus, the Mediterranean Sea, basically, those countries. Now you've got also an Egyptian record. The Egyptian record states that there was a group of people here living. They were people of the sea, and both accounts match. Egyptian clay tablets, dating back to the 14th century BC, confirm the existence of the Philistines with their cities and agree with the Bible that these people came from the sea. In today's world, we would say they were practically Europeans. But both the tablets and the biblical account were under much debate until recently. In 2013, they excavated the world's first Philistine cemetery, an enormous one with more than 210 human remains. A few years ago, a team of archaeologists excavating Tel Ashkelon had unearthed a massive Philistine cemetery. The cemetery contained bones from multiple generations of the Philistine people. So the team ran DNA tests on the bones and found extraordinary results. The late generations of the Philistines seem to have a mixed blood from the Levant area, making them rather a local people of the Middle East. However, the test performed on the early generation of the Philistines 
had shown significant traces of European DNA. This means that even though they intermarried the local tribes at a later point, the original Philistines were of European descent. This discovery was so monumental, it made the world news. The ancient Philistines, the people of the seas, have indeed originated from the southern Europe, the land of Kaftor, just like the Bible says. And that is incredible because that confirms a biblical account. There were people living here. They had five cities, they had their own culture, they had European DNA strand, and they were gone after the 6th century BC. This is so cool. It's important to note that according to historical and archaeological data, the Philistines completely disappeared 2,600 years ago. The records show that they got wiped out by Nebuchadnezzar when he attacked the land in the 7th century BC, just like the Bible predicted in Jeremiah 47. Okay, so now that we've explored the Philistine history, I say we go to our next destination and see the gate, the world's oldest arch gate. I'm excited. All right, let's go take a look. It's exciting. Okay, so the gate should be right here. Wow. This is 4,000 year old gate. Isn't it amazing? We're gonna be entering a gate that is almost 4,000 years old. It is believed that this gate was built by the Canaanites in 1850 BC and it is considered to be the oldest vaulted gate in the entire world. It is 13 feet high, 6.5 feet wide, and its corridor is 49 feet long. It was enormous. I can't believe that people would come 4,000 years ago. Okay, that's wow. Cool. <laughs> And this is like the one in Tel Dan, right? Yeah. There is actually another one in Tel Dan, and we've made an episode about it. That one is the oldest intact arch gate in the world. And there's even a debate which one is older, but it doesn't matter. The fact that there is a gate here that dates to 19th century BC is absolutely unbelievable. And we can walk right under it. One of the coolest things about this place by the gate is that it's mentioned by David in 2 Samuel chapter 1 when after Saul and Jonathan die, David laments and mourns and he says, tell it not in Gath and not in the streets of Ashkelon, lest the Philistines will rejoice. Well, the Hebrew word for streets of Ashkelon actually says Hotzot Ashkelon. And Hotzot means outside. It's not exactly streets, it's just outside, Hotzot. And so they believe that this would be the Hotzot of Ashkelon. This would be the outside of Ashkelon, right by the gate, where people would have their shops, they would trade and sell. So this is where people would gather. Uh, by the gate of the city. And so David refers to this place, tell it not, and we're looking at this place right now. So which gate did you like more, the Tel Dan gate or this gate? Well, the Tel Dan gate, you cannot walk through it because it's filled like with dirt and they just have it preserved. But this one, you can walk through it. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Um, that this one here, maybe tell Dan because there's a possibility that Abraham went through it. So I'm not sure. I don't think I can decide. What about you? Yeah, it's hard to decide because to tell Dan, Abraham could have walked through it, but this one, we walked through it. So I would say as an experience, this gate is my favorite. As a historical uh, monument, tell Dan. As we complete our journey in the footsteps of David and Goliath and explore the Philistine cities, Ending a road in Tel Ashkelon was the best possible choice. So they told us at the entrance that we can stay here up until 10 p.m. And if we are sleeping here with tents, then the whole 24 hours basically. So that's one of the unique things about this part is that you have 4,000 years of history and... Recreation. <laughs> so cool. You can come here, pitch a tent, do a barbecue, bring the family, enjoy the beach, enjoy some archaeology and, yeah. and knowledge with a family, with the kids. So if you get to come to Israel and you're on your own without a group, pick yes. up this place and try it. It's really nice. Can you imagine you're camping here with your children and then you take your children to the 4,000 year old Canaanite gate and have them walk through it? 
and then go and uh, do some barbecue on the yes, grill. Yes, yeah. Absolutely, uh, and then uh, dip yourself in the Mediterranean and just enjoy a nice swim. Well, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing left to do. What's that? Okay, everyone, hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you all. <laughs> He's happy. Bye. Isn't this place so unique? You got 4,000 years of archaeology. And you can stay for recreation. Yeah, like for the night, over, right? You imagine you can take your children to a 4,000 year old gate, walk through under the gate, then go grill some asparagus and stay in your tent for the night and go take a deep at the Mediterranean Sea. Wait, wait, wait. Grill asparagus? So who are the Philistines? The Bible says they're people of Kaftor who lived here before the Israelites. They came... So who are the Philistines? So who are the Philistines? So who are the Philistines? So who were the Philistines? It's a great question, and there's... It's a great question, and here's the answer. Rhoda is a descendant of the Philistines. There's another one here, but it's invisible. It says Israelites. Or you should ask which one do you belong to, the United States. That's good. <laughs>